The science clearly shows that the most effective weight loss strategy is to maintain lean muscle mass. Lean muscle mass increases your resting metabolic rate, helps you burn fat for hours and hours after you exercise, and it's very anti-inflammatory, it's good for your health in general. So we're gonna focus in this video on supplementing with protein so that you can maintain lean muscle mass, but I'm gonna share with you the difference between vegan protein and animal-derived whey protein. So whey protein sometimes gets a bad rap, you know, because it does contain casein and you know dairy uh, antigens and so forth, but uh, it doesn't bother me, it doesn't bother some people, but there's a, a large percentage of the population that's very sensitive to whey. And I have good news. If you supplement with vegan protein, you can increase muscle mass, increase muscle protein synthesis, and burn fat after you work out. So let me share with you the study. So a research team in France conducted a 12-week study where they had individuals embark on a three-day-a-week resistance training program. Okay, so 12 weeks, they were uh, weight training three days a week, and they were also supplementing with protein shakes two protein shakes twice a day. Their protein shake was either coming from a placebo, which was basically carbohydrates, or a pea protein or whey protein. Guess what they found? So they measured, uh, they, they looked at strength markers and they also looked at bicep thickness. So how thick did the muscles grow over the course of 12 weeks? And so what we see here is the strength was the same for all groups. So there was really no difference in strength. And the way that they assessed this was a one rep max test. Now check this out. In terms of muscle size, so hypertrophy, so that would be a, a good indicator of muscle protein synthesis. Check this out. So the control group only grew by 0.4 centimeters on the bicep. Okay, the pea protein group grew by 0.8 centimeters, and the whey protein group grew by one centimeter. So here's what the what we can conclude from that. There's a very small difference here, you know, between the pea and the whey protein. But the key here is to make sure that when you're shopping for your proteins, that you look for high essential amino acid profile, particularly the branch chain amino acids. There's one amino acid that's very uh, important, and that is leucine. Leucine, as we've talked about in previous videos where we've gone through mTOR and the growth factors involved in muscle protein synthesis, leucine activates the gas pedal for your muscle cells to growth, and that gas pedal is called mTOR. So what you really want to keep in mind is so if you're choosing a vegan protein, before you purchase that, make sure that you're looking at the essential amino acids on the label because that's going to tell you if it's going to help your body to burn fat, build muscle, uh, and increase your resting metabolic rate. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about muscle protein synthesis, meal timing, exercise timing, hop on over to bellyfateffect.com. I have a webinar replay where we talked about all the science in much greater detail and I'd love to share that information with you. So if you have any comments or questions, please type them below and we'll catch you on the next video.